Hello agents, I hope you're ready for a great science lesson today. You will need to have your materials ready and these are the things that you are going to need. You're going to need baking soda, water, q-tips, you're going to need some grape juice and I think that this little cup that we use for our communion service is perfect. That's an exactly enough grape juice for our experiment. You're also going to need some white paper. To prepare your solution, which is equal parts baking soda and water, you want to mix that together and it is a little thick. You may need to add, uh, this is perfect, this is a, the, right, um, the right consistency, just equal parts baking soda and water and then we'll talk about what you're going to do and have the big reveal. So now that you have everything that you need for your experiment, we're going to talk about the verse that we are focusing all of our attention on, and that is 1 Samuel 16, 7, that the Lord looks at the heart. God wants to know that what we're doing is being done to honor Him and to glorify Him. When it's saying that the Lord looks at the heart, He's saying that God's not looking at anything else. He's not looking at how you appear. He doesn't care what your skin skin color is, what your hair looks like, how you dress, where you live. He doesn't care about any of the things that we might think are important. God is only concerned about what you do being done for Him to honor Him. So be very careful when you do things in the name of the Lord that you're not doing things because you want to get a pat on the back. You're doing things because you know that God needs to be glorified and you want God to be honored. And that's what that verse is, is talking about there in 1 Samuel, about how the Lord looks at the heart. It's what's on the inside that matters, not what's on the outside. So our attitudes and our actions and the things that we do are very important, especially when we do the things that are going to honor God and are going to glorify Him and show his power through the things that we do. We are the hands, the feet, the mouth. We are the representation of Jesus here in this world. And the things that we do are so important that we do things that honor him, that we do things that glorify him. And so the hidden message of 1 Samuel 16, 7 is that the Lord looks at the heart, is that He doesn't care what's on the outside. He wants to see what's drawn out of your heart through your actions, what's drawn out of your heart in the words that you say. Are you saying kind things to the lonely friend in your classroom or in your neighborhood? Are you being kind to, to, to people and showing them the love of Christ? That's what this verse is all about. Doing things to honor God through your heart, through a great attitude, that the things that I do are going to show people what it's like to follow Christ so that people will know that I can be a good, faithful follower and honor God in all the things that I do and all the things that I say, and that the Lord looks at the heart, and that's when He's the proudest, is when we're doing things out of a desire to glorify Him and show people what it's like to be loved by a father. So if you have your paper, let's get ready to do our hidden message. We have our paper here, and it's just a regular plain white sheet of construction paper. And then I have my baking soda and water solution that I have mixed together. And I think this will be a fun idea for you because you can make your, your hidden message and then trade it with a friend or have mom and dad do one and you all trade messages back and forth so that you can you can see what everyone's message is in the hidden message. Alright, so we have our solution that we're just going to dip. A Q-tip works the best. I've tried other, other things like a paintbrush, um, but this Q-tip works the best. You're just going to dip that in the water and write your message. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand. So you just go down, I'm just going to write high, because I can do that with one hand. And you just draw, usually after every letter, I've gone back in and done. You can kind of see how the paper starts to get kind of wet. 
that that water and that baking soda have mixed together. Remember that baking soda is a base, and so we can do things to the baking soda to draw it out. And I'm going to show you what you do after you set this out in the sun and let this paper dry then you can reveal your hidden message. And you can see that this is the hidden message that I have done. And what message do you think we're doing? Let's find out. So you'll take your grape juice and peel it back. So to reveal this, we're going to need an indicator and grape juice is a great indicator. Whoops, spilt that, it's okay. Messes are fun, right? So we're gonna take our another Q-tip, dip it in our grape juice, and then just color. Look what's happening. What's coming around? What letter's that? this. What do we, what do we spell? G-O-D. God, right. Oh. So what's happening here is that there is a, a chemical in grape juice that reacts with the base of the baking soda and it makes the grape juice makes the baking soda go a little bit darker and that's how you get your hidden message to be revealed. You could use other things like vinegar, try vinegar. I think that you could use orange juice perhaps. You know there is there's acid in ketchup, so you might be able to use ketchup. You might be able to use household vinegar, or I, I think grape juice works great because look how dark that is. Isn't that something? So you're going to go from this, once it's dry, to this. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. So just remember, friends, that God does love you, and He loves you with all of His heart so much that he gave his only son to die for you. That is a powerful statement. And all he asks us to do is to share our faith with the people that we meet, to tell them just how much God loves them and just how much God wants to have a relationship with them. God loves you and he loves your friends. And he wants you to do things to honor him because the Lord looks at the heart and he wants to know that you're doing things that are going to honor him, truly honor him. So let's all be good agents and go out and into the world and honor God, honor God with our whole heart. I love you all. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of your mission.